Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, we are back again with the next lab. So in the previous lab, we have solved non-oracle database, but this time we are going with an oracle database. So this is not solved. I'm opened in a new tab. Yeah, SQL injection attack listing the database contents on oracle. So yeah, as usual, let us plan to have some notes here. This lab contains an SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. So the, so the vulnerable parameter is category. The result from the query are returned in the application's response. So you can use an union attack to retrieve data from other tables. So the attack type would be union attack. Fine. Let us go to the next para. The application has a login functionality and the database contains the table that holds username and password. You need to determine the name of the table and the column it contains. So our tasks are same as the previous labs. Just write in. Yeah, these are our uh, primary tasks. Here there is some kind of hint. Let us see what it is. It is compulsory for Oracle to give this from keyword for this from keyword we need to specify a table name so this is a built-in table that we can use so obviously the payload would be union select null comma null from jewel so let us paste this okay uh, i forgot to access the lab so this is the payload that we need to give in the lab and that too in the category parameter so let us go to that category parameter before yeah let us access this lifestyle just here to check how many columns uh, we have i mean we already know but just to confirm so this means that we have two columns we have a successful response okay and uh, here let us type in two and then columns uh, containing string so which column are containing string so this should be a and b this uh, we already know these things but uh, this, i am telling these every time because we should not forget the basics okay so we got an internal server error i completely know that because we faced this in the previous uh, lab also and we are not sure why this two things are changing uh, hopefully this must be some activity from firewall this tells that both the columns available are capable of string and so next the table name so for this we definitely have to visit the cheat sheet so this is the one so it clearly states that this is an oracle based one where is that yeah this is an oracle based one so this focus let us focus on this so here from all tables so there is something called all tables and all tab columns okay and there is, we already know this that there is a generic name called table underscore name okay let us craft the payload hmm okay union select we are expecting a table name right table underscore name null plus from all underscore tables so we are expecting this hopefully we should not get any kind of error okay that's our primary task because we already solved this kind of lab but that is not an oracle based one so these are all the tables so obviously we are we should be finding for users okay we have seven matches it says yo i think we found that username i mean sorry the table name so this should be the table name we paste it here and the next would be the column name so we need to find out the column name and union plus select 
column underscore name comma null from all underscore tables see from all tables how will we get the column name we should specify the column name sorry table name here let us go back here from all tab columns where we can specify the table name okay this is how we need to drop the payload now from all tab underscore columns where table name equals to so user underscore d q j i y d this is the table name that we got so this should work hopefully this should definitely work let us check it again union select column underscore name null from all tab columns where table name equals to this so there is no syntactical error let us go here and uh, yeah we will paste it this should give the column names but this did not because there is a small glitches there are small glitches here okay i think we got the column names oh, seriously we did not get the any column names let us see the payload first union select column name underscore null from tables where table name equals to this <sighs> finally i got what went wrong so here it is users not user as we can see here i have written users yeah we got the username and password columns these are the columns let me copy these columns here just like this and this one okay now just forget about this so now our task is to write a payload again just like union select these two columns we are going to select these two columns here we need a comma from uh, we need to specify the table name so this should be the table name so i don't want to type in again because you know the mistakes happen all the time and hmm, forgive me for that yeah this should work so this should reveal our username and passwords i mean all the usernames and passwords in this website yo union select username underscore this column and password underscore this column from users okay so we should get that username and password yeah we got it we got the admin username and we got the password as well so let me log in we copy paste this first yo let me hit on my account just paste this thing Log in. Huh. Finally, congratulations. You solved the lab. Thanks for your patience and have a great day. Bye.